Aya. <laughs> uh, because I want to sleep. Hii ndio saa yangu ya kuingia kwa bedroom. Block hata huyu jamaa mwenye anauliza why block surely unauliza nani? Na akwambia hapa you have the, the power. <laughs> Nani mkwambia unakuja hapa kuuliza maswali? Kaa huko. Beba part part na wende lazima. Tena leo ni 25th. Eh leo acha tuwapatie free pass. Mm. Yeah. Nabakisha 2 days. <laughs> si mwingine mm. alisema 25th bla bla bla. Leo ni 25th. Oh ule mwenye alikuwa na struggle na picha yenye ame download kwa Pinterest akisema eti ni yangu ni kikis na brother yangu. Huo ye poor guy. Ambieni na nini mpe It's content that. Oh, yeah. Aki, that guy is such a sad man. Huo jamani boskan. He will kill himself trying to troll Diana Ross. <laughs> Hello guys, it's your girl Fashion Status. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscription box and put on the notification bell so that you don't forget to time across a new video. Remember, I'm the queen of online gossip. So welcome to today's video. Don't forget to give it a like and leave a comment on the comment section. Ay, because I want to sleep. Hii ndio saa yangu ya kuingia kwa bedroom. Block hata huyu jamaa mwenye anauliza why block surely unauliza nani? Na akwambia hapa you have the, the power. <laughs> Nani mkwambia unakuja hapa kuuliza maswali? Kaa huko. Beba part part na wende lazima. Tena leo ni 25th. Eh leo acha tuwapatie free pass. Mm. Yeah. Nabakisha 2 days. <laughs> Simu ngina mm. alisema 25th bla 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 leo ni 25th Oh ule mwenye alikuwa na struggle na picha yenye ame download kwa Pinterest akisema eti ni yangu ni kikis na brother yangu Huo ye poor guy Ambieni na nini mpe It's content sad. that Oh yeah Aki, that guy is such a sad man Huo jamani boskan he will kill himself trying to troll Diana Ross <laughs> Atakufa siku moja kama amekaa hapo akiita majirani majirani ataanguka chini pup na vitu za Pinterest na vitu za Google a a Anyway nilienda matembezi kidogo nikasalimia mtu kidogo Oh Sasa John mimi naitwa Diana Yes, okay, Diana. Eh na na Frizil ameni ameniambia ulikuwa na information ati ulikuwa rafiki ya Evelyn. Na huu Evelyn tunajaribu kuchunguza ukweli wake because what is we are we know that there's something wrong. Ndio jana kwa drama and then juice alikuwa maneno story za ita so nilifanya mm. nikashangaa ni one day kita alifungua kamera juzi akasema let me show you mama because <laughs> atemekwama nataka some some money you best talk you pa mimi kwa kwangu ni kai you don't have to you can get at that time this is gonna go so even when we just go na do akanyamwambia akakasirika is sure like kama ni jam so miss kwa understand so juzi juzi ni i think ni jana ndio mpata history nikashangaa what is not going on crazy alipata nani nani alipata watoto sangapi mimi najua tu watu watatu ju we were friends ai ikashindwa tukiongea with this lady mm. she never mentioned of another kid and she was all okay so i could never mean get your telephone number to ona and she told me she had some projects i want to find you across the kenya ona mm. so then i was like what is going on ona friends ya kwa drama mara na ona then got a papo chini by the i was there na nini got a papo na nika nika tanga yona i want to tell this table of beer nikiendelea hapa naona hii ni game sabu this lady to you get eh June July I mean naona ni visa ndio anacheza sio hata hiyo time ni visa alikuwa anacheza so nikashangaa kwani nani akurudi hapo na Europe na muona ki eh tu kuna barrio so mimi jana nikajua eh basi hiyo hote ni ile story ilikuwa tu ya June July akafuta pesa za ku ni visa ama ticket i remember mimi alinitajia ticket 
So many guys, guys, she don't want to go into that Europe. Yeah. So that's why I'm going to visit the Indian. Eh? So you don't mess up. I can't go there. So I'm going to be me. So I think I'm going to miss her. We were going to see her some three, four months ago. So we are going to expect that Europe. So then I'm going to be like, "Shaga, hey, what's not going on?" At Marad, me, me. We are going to see Mama. We, we are going to go to Africa. Mm. So when you are in Europe, you are going to see something cooking because in anaku anafaa kwa hapo Europe so si ile ni kama ni pesa ilikosa au kuenda ama ni nini but in story what in area the sounding cooking up miss yoni kama kuna mtoto but mimi nakumbuka one thing alishai jaribu kuomba pesa ya kujaza sije hiyo ticket ama visa but siko na pesa at that time so ni kama akajama tujaeongeleshana so until juice the sasa ile mbona kwa dakika kwa hotel kwa kuna freeze na sasa jana tena hiyo story ile ndio ile chacha umeshajua huyu Evelyn for how long If, okay ipo na jua kitambo kitambo ni ile tu random friends kitambo like last year tuko tuna chat then mimi kaacha so nikamuonele tena kuna tena kwa nimeenda Kenya vacation last year but hata kuonana kwa tembo wa mbiaga ni kwa ndaka kwa ndio kwa mbia ai inaweza taka kongene alipati hizo tafuteni 10000 dan alafu ndio uonyesha nini uchezeshe hiyo record nama ya tapuru tapuru nataka kuwachezesha record nyingine hapa alafu niwaonyeshe kitu pia saa ingoja kwanza ni acha niweke screen shot nyingine hapa acha nikuweke big screen ndio ikuwe easier expand yeah hivyo guys to tap tap aki please alafu mna share live tap tap share the live do you know lizo kama umeona ob number somebody thank you black diamond unaulizo kama umeona ob number Thank you Black Diamond. Una obi namba. Thank you Black Diamond. Yeah, I have the document. I have the document. Thank you Black Diamond. Enda WhatsApp ala furudi dana. I have the this is the document from the police station. So this girl is saying the truth. It was actually na nimepiga mpaka huko simu ni ukweli. Pita Kioi anatafutwa. So this girl this was actually reported and uh, even it has gone to a point yenye wana wame polisi wa Kasarani wameitisha CCTV footage ya hiyo assault yenye Peter Kioi alipiga huyo kijana rafiki yake Ndio hiyo kwa hapo Si tu same eh, Clandi unacheka nini unataka kuwa blocked ama umefurahi tu Tusome di. Si ndio hiyo hapo. Police ndio hiyo namba hapo 0 telephone 02 whatever sitasoma sitasoma nini namba ya hiyo uh, police. Date iko hapo siangalie fungweni vizuri msome. Date iko hapo kwa hiyo ref uh, OB namba 12 22 mumeona Yeah tumeona tumeona Yeah mumeona date mumeona everything Unaambiwa onyeshane the accused person unajua ukisoma hapo this this station is number if you want to go why should this is a case under investigation sasa una uliko ndaka tuoneshe jina ya Peter Kioi hapa ama and you can confirm just go and call if you want guys call kasarani police station nowadays i didn't know the police is very nice like that just call kasarani police station take this ob number you can confirm sawa sawa so this case is actually real and it's ongoing so ni criminal anatafutwa melewa that's the ob number iko hapa so si uongo ni ukweli na mumeona the dates zina coincide 
na ile kitu ule msichana alisema the dates coincide with the story that that lady came up with now i have a screenshot but i have to put away some number wacha nikuje nini wacha niingie huko ndani na let us screenshot ingine hapa wamesema obi namba inanga jina ya the accused so thank you Ruth precious because wanauliza na wajui nime realize a lot of people don't know the police uh, nini process hapa but that's uh, the the document from kasarani haya wacha ni nini ni walete screenshot ingine hapa tap tap guys thank you for that me si queen mama mashuja thank you Hey, Ken M. Which, what do you mean that's not OB number? Umeingia hapa saa hii umekuja kusema that's not OB number. Guys, ebu saidieni Ken M. Did you guys see maswali zake? Eh, hey, panda hapa juu ulize swali kama unataka kuuliza swali. Usiandike tu hapo. Unaandika tu hapo because you want to write. Ya pande ya ulize yatajibiwa. Ken M you can request you panda you uliza. Tap tap guys at me the host 452 people. Ya tikena na kuanga hivyo akiwa na ngoba ndiye ameamka. Tap tap at me the host share the live. Comment section. Is it good morning? New hope, live pure heart. Nakuts. Good morning. Four hundred and sixty-one people. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, host. Hey, host. Tata comment section. Tusalimiane tu hapo chini ni good morning huku kwetu. Tusalimiane tu. Ndio ndio hiyo nini? Screenshot. Ah, di kwa nini umeenda tena? Leave uta soma. Leave soma soma hii screenshot. This is from a friend of Evelyn mwenye wamekuwa close na yeye. Um alienda aka inbox bile jana vitu zilika okay aya soma hai sasa poa mambo by the way if i'm sure is lying si juzi july we were talking alini show anatafta doa za ticket she had borrowed me 10k but I had to take time juzi kwa nazo then boom nasikia drama saa hii yote ni drama ya visa na ticket. Ebu ukiwa free call me. We'll tell you how it started ndio nikajua ni visa na ticket. Wa I wish I had to delete the messages kama he, I had not deleted the messages kama hii drama ingekam. It's okay I will call you. But be safe juu chenye uli uliongea about visa and ticket it's true and na jopita ameaibika juu chenye umesema ni ukweli and i support you on that personally mimi if uh, had borrowed me money nikakosa kumpa na hivyo tukanyamaziana juu si kutuma be safe okay aya pole nimetoa haraka juu tiktok imeshanipatia warning hapo na toa personal information ya mtu hiyo namba ya hapo katikati nilikuwa sijafunika aya sasa mimi si mnajuanga tu na hii mdomo yangu refu hii mdomo yangu refu inafanyanga tu uchunguzi refu tu tutakukata tutakata hiyo mdomo we hii mdomo mnafaa kuikata kidogo sasa ati umechukua namba block huyu mtu anasema eti ame ame amechukua namba block mjinga Moderator na leta block huyo mjinga kwende na huko Na kuja hapa kutuambia ni 
Mhm. Tu mbili peke yake. Sawa. Na records we can find. We will access every record. Sio shida. So uko na masa mawili mimi ninaingia kulala. Meanwhile waja niwalete kitu kidogo hapa. Wow. <laughs> Diana tatuacha tu hanging in the air si akome. Hmm? Atukome na tutu. Hebu mtap tap you share the live you send me heart me. Wenye uko kwa guest na huwa tuwaoni mnaweza sema what you want down there. And then we can up you guys kindly. Tunaogopa ku up strangers ifanyike venye ilifanyika kwa mali safi. What happened kwa mali safi? Kuna wakati mtu alitoanga nini? Mtu alifanya hiyo kitu. Mtu alicheza kieye. Haki huyu mwenye umemnini umempandisha unamjua? Hai. Hai, hai you what's up? I'm fine, mambo. Poa. Okay, pia mimi nilikuwa na follow history ya Peter na mimi mauni yangu tu venye naweza naweza sema. I think uh, si walikuwa kwa mochari yeye na chicha na huyo if mbona watu wasiende tu kwa hiyo mochari wende wa confirm huko kwa mochari kama kuna mtoto alikufa eh inafaa krimitiwe simple hakuna you know, i'm given you i've given you there let me give you that answer there was no yeah. baby in that hakukuwa okay. na mtoto kwa hiyo mochari i'm sorry ah. to disappoint you yeah oh, okay uh, okay okay yeah hakukuwa okay. nae Mm. Ah okay okay mimi shukishe basi okay okay yeah okay sawa and that is why chicha alikuwa eh. akupatiwa ruhusa ya kuona mwili because walienda pale kuulizia mm. ati wamesikia hiyo facility ni facility mzuri walikuwa wanataka kuiangalia vile iko na chicha akaambiwa akae huko nyuma na wakaingia yeah. huko Alafu pita kioi akatoka nje ni kama analia in fact i think one of the attendants huko alishangaa vile alikuwa analia nini because walienda tu kuuliza maswali juu ya how okay. how clean the mog is or how well it can you know can keep a body yeah cuz something is not adding up i think mtu akifiliwa okay pita angefind huko na watu wake watu angefaa jae pale wenda waone maiti kwanza before what are you that was do you yeah. know do you know why peter kioi came up with the cremation thing yeah yeah because he did not want people to see anybody of the child that's why he ah. came up with the, with the issue yeah, because ana muki cremate body after three days tutapata wapi what, what will we where will we get anything to view what watakutana wapi na mmeenda cremation Eh? and then so walikuwa wanaenda so kusema ati it's a mm. private private family affair so tiktokers were not going to have access unaelewa yeah yes mm. okay mhm mm and that's what you... okay okay yeah okay okay sawa thank you yeah okay, so guys oh oh okay, oh, okay. thank you sao <laughs> eh wewe unaturudisha misri we <laughs> we were in it you guys mnakumbuka vile pita kioi alimon mtoto wa wini kushinda hata wini mwenyewe hiyo recording iko wapi ni mchezeshe vile alililia alililia mpaka akasema sisi ni wanawake wachawi mimi ni mchawi ninaandama wini for nothing eh na nataka muangalie pole pole wale watu wenye sai tena wamezunguka wana protect Peter Kioi. Were they not the same same cartels that were okay with Nani? <laughs> Don unaona Don ako tu kwa, kwa nini? Don si ako hapo. Is in his back everywhere. Anza mkali amekuongelelea asubuhi midnight. Eh. Hey.
akosu bitter with you akitoa evidence zako vile ulikula pesa hiyo utapata iko kwa mtandao alitoa evidence alitoa evidence wapichekesha <laughs> don unasumbuka don unasumbuka sana huo ye itabidi ubebe evidence hata na kichwa yako na hiyo kifua yako kama ya John Bravo Uta, unasumbuka utatembea mpaka kichwa yako ipasuke mm? Aya, so guys, um, I want to nitaingia kwa kikombe kidogo. Alafu ninarudi. Alafu sasa mnajua hii ni bedroom. Lakini ninawauliza hapa swali. Aki comment section mujibu tu wenye walisikia jana Chris akiongea. Nataka tu mnijibu. Do you believe him? Do you believe him? Muniambie yes or no from what he said. Nani me I may I um I am um, trying so hard to believe him trying trying so hard he may have been clean he may have been clean or he may be trying to cover his ass I don't really trust him at this moment sorry Chris MC Chris Kama mjasikia mtaniambia I'll play the both recordings ile yenye alikuwa kwake and then ile alienda kwa chicha. Kwa nani? Kwa mali safi. For those who are not sure whether to believe or not to believe. You can tell me on the comment section you are playing a recording. The two recordings. Oh. Huyo MC Chris vile ako na hiyo convincing power na nikumbushanga tu wale my boyfriends tulikuanga nao kitambo wanatuambia vile wanafanya kazi kwa bank wamevaa masuti na mashati safi safi sasa yote ukikutana na e, I'm just from work babe I'm just from work. na hana kazi it does not work every time it's time to pay a bill yeah yeah something wrong with my card this card always has money This card is always with money but I don't know what's wrong with my bank. My bank keeps on keeping a lot on this card because this <laughs> card always has a lot of money. This card has lots of money and that's why my bank always mm, has put a lot of uh, security measures on my on my card. Mm? Hey. Ah yeah. <laughs> Should I play the recording guys on the comment section? Yes, yes ma'am. Go ahead while I make my phone call. What, what I would okay. advise what I would advise uh, MC Chris, he should he should stop. And somebody who's innocent does not overexplain themselves. I watch it to overexplain and go anyamaze tu. Ama you can share this live with Chris. Share the live with MC Chris. Ebu mshia hii live na MC Chris. Mimi niko tu na maswali zingine kwake. Really there. Na naona kama kuna kuna ukora na nini. Pa kwako waachana na mimi. Na Diana Rose nataka kuambia, leave MC Chris out of this. Nitukane mimi lakini achana na watu wengine na sio gobi. Nimesema until ile siku atakuwa na peace, until siku tumekuwa tumekubaliana na kila mtu anakaribishwa kwa hiyo matanga. Na mkitaka kuona mwili iko part Jude iko part Jude Mok iko part Jude Mok hapo hapa tala tu nguluni come there see the body go home sawa he has really he has really really tetiad himself he has tried lakini huyo msikrisi katai alikuwa na anauliza details na nini na nini ndo akuwe sure na mbona hata before apewa hizo details akatuma 10k ya nini Okay hiyo naweza kuwa ni kama wewe sasa ni rafiki yangu uniambie uko na msiba na niamue tu kukuambia pole before even we make an arrangement but I am also wondering why should you just send money because mtu amekupiwa na hata matanga hiyo anza ku tengeneza ku, ku, ku arrange so that's another red flag anyway Yeah, that's a red flag. Kwa sababu amemwambia nitumie hizo ni nini? 
Aliwambia atamtumia hizo detail kwa wapi kwa WhatsApp. Hakutumiwa anything. Na bado alituma 10k yake. Alituma ya nini? Si angengoja a confirm kila kitu ndio hata kama ata make contribution side yake a make. Hata ajatuma mko na evidence. Alikuwa anasema alituma. Donation na screenshot. No, alitoa screenshot. Alitoa alitoa screenshot 10,000. Niliona kwa live yake jana. Mm. Ya, yeah, alileta evidence. Alileta evidence kwamba ametuma hiyo 10k. Eh, labda kulikuwa na shinda fulani urgently, I don't know, lakini kutoa pesa before kukuwe na mata, na mchango ya matanga. Eh, that's another thing I don't know why. So it could be a red flag. Amran kama tumebo, enda tu mali, swipe tu enda mali ya akubo. <laughs> Kumba umemwana. Swipe tu mali ya akubo. Enda tu mali ya akubo. Ebu mpadie ni ticket aende na sirundi. Eh. Eh, ati nani ilo? Amba, aende kwa nini. Amtaki ya boeke, amtaki ya boeke. Mwambie ende tuliana ana watu wanamboeka hadi <laughs> live is so short usimboeke hapa tafadhali enda pale unafurahia he he na kuna kitu kingine mimi nimefurahia kwa hii saga yote mpaka niseme kwa sababu ina im, inanifurahisha kwa wale mmetoa pesa zenu nirudie ndio mfilize Diana shemo ni pesa ni yenu umefanyia kazi pati ya neni yote hiyo ni akili ndogo utoe pesa ndio unifanye nisikie vibaya kwa nini yangu kwendeni huko na hapa mali mc chris alikuwa na call huyo baby mama alikuwa na call ku confirm ama ilikuwa call ya nini unajua mimi sikuelewa hiyo call call yenye ali make ali make ku ndio apate confirmations kama kweli mtoto amekufa ndio aje aambie watu wachange unaona cuz anasema ange anta mchango na ana kitu ya kwenda kuambia watu so alikuwa anataka evidence but there was already a whatsapp group uh, pure heart kulikuwa na whatsapp group tayari call ali make after whatsapp ama before after after wazabu ilikuwa isha tengenezwa call in oh yeah i hope i can't i can't confirm that aya mesli we ni mjinga taka taka hii toka hapa kumbafu Endo kachukue 3,000 kwa Peter Kiyoi. Is this not the same Peter Kiyoi that kidnapped himself some time ago? Ama ni nani? Alafu muka pangwa. Ati he, tunaenda kufanya cremation. Muka toka kwa cremation, muka rudi kwa burial. Sasa, and Peter Kiyoi, by the way, you are right. Let me respond to Nanind. Amesema kitu nikuwa nanda kusema. Marcelin, Peter Kiyoi is not working alone. Peter Kiyoi is working with Don the Con anafanya kazi pamoja na huyo mama ya mtoto anafanya kazi na chi na chira na chicha ni chicha ama ni nani ule anaitwaje huyu 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 nini mwizi mwingine wa TikTok na anafanya kazi pia in, in collaboration with some platforms here hata kuna platform uh, mwenye pita kioi walichanga alafu host wa hiyo platform alitumiwa 16000 for a job well done Munafikiria ati at you guys can come here and do your dirty work. Mkifikiria ati some people are not watching. Yes, that is what you've been doing. Most of these platforms zenye zilichangia Pita Kioi walikuwa mboka pamoja na yei. Kwa hii mboka hapa. Wote. And they were not doing it for free. Nimewambia hapa. Ehe. Aya, Janet. Tap, 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 tap. Janet, maingi. Hi, how are you? Zuri, hapa you will be protected. Sawa. Uh, Gracie, I will not uh, allow anyone to insult me. 
au mabibi zake anaonyongesha yeah. huko kwa WhatsApp. Hivi msidi msitusi na ni atutaki asinayo moderators. Wacha niambie moderators. Kindly. Kindly. You don't want our platform to be a marketplace your man. This is not a marketplace. Unaona hiyo ujinga mlikuwa mnanifanyia tafadhali kwa about Peter Kio you don't try to disrespect Janet. Kindly. Because this respect Ayola and Janet. We just need a sober talk. Tuongee vizuri Ayola. Hata nikiweke mode. Mtu asidisrespect Ayola, mtu asidisrespect Janet. Tap tap hat me the host kindly. And then maswali tu ni tutawa protect my moderators kindly please. Na na comment section msiseme kitu ya kusema. Tuta tutauliza tu maswali kindly. Hi Janet, how are you? Tunanisikia? Tumia nani? Yeah, tunakusikia. Smart girl tumia yes. D kwa inbox yake alafu hata nitumia. Ndio ni play huku. Okay, yes, tunakusikia jana. Tuma kwa backup yangu. Nitumie kwa backup please kama inawezekana. Oh, Abigail amesema kwangu haiwezi, it's true. Abi Okay, what do we do, Abi? Nini your Diana? Your video. No, like uh, smart girl alikuwa ananitumia nini? Alikuwa anakupa video kwa nilimemwambia tume. I'm good, I'm good. Unaendeleaaje Janet? Si siku mingi. Yeah, long time indeed. Niko poa. Eh, nafikiria tuliblockiana. Chekesha. Ni wewe ulini blog hadi juu ya kucheka. Eh. Ulikuwa unanichamba. Niki 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 ni 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 rosa ukacheka kwa comment ukani block. Oh, okay. But it's okay. Yeah. No problem. Eh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Eh, mimi tu nitakuliza kitu swali tu kidogo tu. Ile si, ile siku niliwapata huko kwa live ukiongelelea hii story ukasema unajua Evelyn na kwamba okay. umejua eti mtoto wake amekufa. Ya yeah, ni niliongea na Eve hiyo siku. Mm. Mwanzo kabla niongea na Eve kuna kuna video nilitengeneza niki nikiambia pitani kama ni ukora anatumia. Mhm. Mm ya kwa siku jua kama ako na mtoto mtoto mahali mtoto mdogo. Sasa nikamwambia nitafanye uchunguzi. Mm. Lakini watu wakakuja sana kwa ile kom, kwa comment wakanitusi sana wakanitusi sana je hiyo video. Mm. Then jioni kitu jioni ikiwa job nikachat hivi nikamuliza kama ako sawa akaniambia yuko sawa nikamuliza kwa nini akasema whatever posted by Kioi it's true. Mm. Nipoteza mtoto. Nipoteza mm. mtoto. Mm. Uh, Akaniambia mtoto wako na 10 months alikuwa na shida na amefariki. No. Oh. Ya yeah, na siku endelea na maswali niliachia tu hapo nikamwambia pole. So you you are in touch with this Evelyn. No, hatujakuwa tukiongea but hiyo siku ju nimekuwa na namba yake niliona acha nimuulize. Mm. Yeah. So yeye mbona niko na swali sasa hapa. So wewe according to you uli uli, kupo, uli post video before uongee na Evelyn nama. Ya yeah, nili post na venye nili post ilibidi nikuje ku delete hiyo video juu ilikuwa imejama tu si watu wakiniambia na na na, na tu si watu wamefiwa. Ilikuwa ni a lot of comments zenye walikuwa na nituzi vibaya so nikaona acha tu ni delete. Ulipata namba ya Evelyn wapi na ni mtu mwenye ni kama mlikuwa mnashia na ye mwanaume? What was the friendship? What is the relationship? Nilikon... Okay. <laughs> oh, 
hivi <laughs> nime, nimekuwa na namba yake tangu akiwa Europe lakini unaweza kuposta ati mtoto wa mtu amekufa na we mwenyewe uja confirm na na Evelyn na ulikuwa na namba yake tangu mtoke euro no si kupost hiyo video si kusema ati amekufa nilisema i hope hii si ukora hata ikuwa ati najua mtoto ni wanani nilisema mimi sijui kama pita kwa na mtoto mdogo najua watoto wake ni wakubwa wale watoto wa Juliet so nikiposta hata siku ati nacheka mtu amefiwa ama nini nilikuwa naona maybe ni ukora ukora na hivi mwenyewe amesha kuja hapa kwa TikTok akapost ako na TikTok account. Ah uh, hata sidhani kama ako nayo sasa hii hiyo hiyo account nimeitafuta sijaiona. Mm. Mm. So wewe na na nani na na hivi mko in touch. So after kuongea na Eva akakukonfirmia eti mtoto amekufa. <laughs> Ndio ukakuja kusema ati pole. You went to apologize. Yeah, ni li, I have to apologize juu ya hiyo video. Ju watu walisema ume umeongea ume vibaya na unafaa ku apologize. Le kuulize swali Janet Maingi. Yes. Namba ya Evelyn ulichukua lini na kwa nini ulichukua? No, it's, she, she's here. Janet. Hmm? Network hi, hi, hi Janet. Mm -hmm. Guys, is everybody on the platform able to hear me? Kila mtu kwa yeah, platform anaweza nijibu. Kila hebu mnisikie. Mnisalimie kama mnanisikia. Okay, okay. Tunakusikia. Hi Diana. Oh, okay. Also you all can hear me. Ah. It's only Janet that cannot hear me. Janet Hi Janet Okay mm -hmm. I hope she stays here I think if it's network I hope she'll come back Okay uh, Janet Jano yeah, Ya yeah, network yake haiko poa naona imekuwa red. Labda mm. atoke arudi. Mm. Eh ah, ako tu sawa. Asitoke akuje akue tu hapa. Janet. Atakuja. Koje. Oh. Kai share to why again? Akikuja nini? Akikuja mum up eh? guys. When she nini, when she comes you up her. Huh? Janet to neza ku request tena. Yeah. Mm. Okay, sasa una nisikia Janet. Yes, na kusikia, na kusikia. Oh, okay. Ni network yangu iko na shida. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So nilikuwa ulisikia swali yangu before network iko na shida. Hapana sijasikia eburudia tena. Nimekuulizaje? Namba yes. namba ya Janet ulichukua lini? Ulipata namba ya Janet lini? Oh, namba... Na kwa nini ulichukua namba ya, namba ya Janet? Eh, ni sorry, namba ya Evelyn ulichukua lini na kwa nini uli, uli, ulichukua ulitafuta? 
namba ya hivu nilichukua 2022 wakati pita alikuwa ameshikwa so hivu ni ya alikuwa na lipa uh, cash bill na ni mimi tu nilikuwa na shungulikia pita so you guys that so was, you guys pita mbo so you that was 2022 oh 2022 yeah okay so wewe na na eve mulikuwa mejuwala mejuwana by 2022 Ya. Yeah. Na wewe uli 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 huko kwa umejua Peter Kioi ako na relationship na na Eve even after having um an incident yenye ilifanya mkatoa Peter na cash bill. So 2022 2023 sai tuko 2024. So between yeah. 2022 between 2022 na 2024 You didn't know anything that happened between Evely and uh, Peter Kioi. How could you? Ah, nilijua walikuwa in walikuwa in a relationship that is after me. And you didn't know about a child. Yeah, mimi si kujua. Actually hapo sijui anything. Oh. But were you talking to Eve after the cash bill saga? Mlikuwa mnaongea? Ya yeah, tulikuwa tunaongea tukaongea hadi akitoka Europe 2023 tulikuwa tunaongea alafu sasa tukaenda kila mtu akaenda hivyo tu hatujiongeleshana tena So when was the last time you talked to Eve Before you 2023 story. 2023 which month Uko um, May I think it was May Juni ilikuja nilikuja huku Feb last mm. year So guys, yes. pigeni hesabu, aliongea na ye 2023 May. We are gonna assume that Eve was pregnant. Alafu sasa si wamesema mtoto ni wa 10 months, Janet, si ndio? Yes. Okay guys, pigeni hesabu wetu wenye wamewahi wame zaa na wakashika mimba. By 2023, Janet was talking to Eve. So definitely by the time they were talking she must have been heavily pregnant then right by may so i have another question <laughs> when did uh, eve come back to kenya from europe she came may 2023 so alikuja may 2023 Yeah. Guys. Na mtoto ako na 10 months. So aliconceive akiwa yule. Kwa sababu siku yenye alikuja hata watu waliona, walikuwa kwa club pamoja wakilewa. Eh eh. Walikuwa kwa club pamoja wakilewa na wakalala. So atuji what happened? Atuwezi jua kama watu waliinuana. Mm. So yeah, okay right. kama wali wali inu, wali inuana si hata mkiinuana na mtu si unabeba mtoto mimba miezi tisa hapo tumekubaliana ama Yeah. Yeah, so kama mwezi ni tisa tuseme for example alikuja ulisema amekuja lini? Imagine May. inaingia Diana. May. So kama alikuja May, May 2023, si ndio? Yes. Okay, add add nine months alafu wazai. Alafu mtoto ako na miezi ngapi? 10. Miezi 8. 10 10 months. Miezi na miezi 8, si ndio? So 10 she months. She gave back so she gave back in uh, January, February. Si ndio? According to the math. She came back May. Yes, but giving back is nine months. Right? Me, get yeah, pregnant exactly. in nine months, sindio? So yes. if the, yeah, so mtoto aki, akiwa nini um lazima hesabu nine months alafu sasa tuongezee 10 months because wamesema mtoto ame ameaga akiwa na 10 months, right? Yeah. Uko sawa guys mpaka hapo? Ya inaingia iko sawa. Hiyo si it's not 10 it's 8 months Gracie. 
no yani we had we ni miezi nane nani amesema ni nane mi miezi nane so um nani alikuja may between may between may na ta, mpa kutoka may mpaka saa hii hamkuongea until time yenye pita kio yali post ya yeah, cause tulio, tuliongea mwisho hiyo april ayola ile time yenye nilikuwa na nini na extend visa yangu cause nilichangiwa na watu wa tiktok i think it ilikuwa mwezi wa mwezi wa ndio tuliongeanga na yeye mhm uh-huh. tuliongea na yeye alafu ni hivyo tu kuongea na yeye tena okay so i want to ask you has ibli never had a tiktok account yes i account inajiita if mama kemira kuna hiyo account aiko aiko hakuna madi inapatikana did she ever post about her kids no amekuwa akipost hao watoto watatu hao uh, uh, watoto watatu wame wa, walikuwa before you were, so kwa hivyo kuna watoto wanne yeah so did she ever ever post Al, aliwahi ku post huyu mtoto mwenye alizaa huyu wa mwisho hata siku moja Ah kuna Lakini alikuwa na post hao wengine. Ya yeah, wengine alikuwa na post. Hata tuliona huko eh, yola si walienda kwa birthday huko. Ya yeah, alikuwa eh alikuwa anga kwa page yake by the way. Huyu Eve Diana alikuwa very active social media before hadi alikuwa anga gifter si ndio Janet yeah, alikuwa gifter yes alikuwa yeah. gifter alikuwa anga gifter alikuwa anajulikana but sasa alikuja akapotea tena so ndona hey so tap tap to oh. anguke guys tuna hang anani anasema ati na whatsapp alipost kwani si of course nani anaongea na yeye kwa whatsapp kwani utaongea na yeye wapi si kwa whatsapp ndiye anaweza kuongea na yeye ama mlikuwa mnaongea na wapi nani janet si ni kwa whatsapp tulikuwa tunaongea tuli, tuli, ni kwa whatsapp tu hakuna mali pengine sikuwa tunaongea mm-hmm. kwa whatsapp so alifika 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 kenya na immediately vile walikutana na pita akashika mimba alafu akaza mtoto naye ni 8 months na huyu mtoto wewe uli confirm na Evelyn by texting ha huh? yeah nilimchat tu alafu si kuendelea mm. na ile mazwali mingi jo already jo already alijua iko hiyo maneno iko social media nikaona wacha niachia hapo si kuendelea hata si kumtafuta tena jo hata nilisema nikimtafuta tena ataona nimetumwa nilete huko mm aninajua kwa aware haezi ongea kitu mm. sahi mm ya yeah, lakini yeah. unajua nyi watu mi 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 hapa mi ndo nitatusiwa tu nikiitwa bita x <laughs> ah wachana na we, kutusima tu sisi kitu you better speak your truth kwani watu si wanakusiwa hapa wote dana hii maneno ni ngumu hata ni ndo maana unaona hata chicha wamekaa kando so mi si kwa nataka kuongea hizi story kwa nini unasema maneno kwa nini unasema maneno ni ngumu ni ngumu ni ngumu yawa <laughs> kwa nini na we mwenyewe umekubali eti mtoto amekufa <laughs> mtoto no, mwenye hajawahi kupostiwa kati ya watoto yeah. wote wanne na huyu mwingine listen wewe Janet ukizaanga mtoto mm-hmm. wewe ukizaa ukiwa na watoto si uko na watoto eh niko na wao eh utapost wengine lakini huyu the new the new child uwezi ukapost au una post juni baraka na unafurahia. Yeah, so au wengine wa kitambo utawa post tu sawa sawa lakini huyu mpya huwezi post, si ndio? Au lazima u post. Mm. Okay, alafu kwa nini alitoa account yake? Alitoa account lini? When did, when was the last time you saw Evelyn's account ya TikTok hapa? <laughs> Hiyo wakati yenye kukuja kuwa na hiyo scenario account imekuwa. Account ya hivi imekuwa na ulikuwa unaona tu ana post, ana post tu picha yake but sisi kukuwa na mtoto amekufa, hiyo account ilienda misi. Mm. So, yes. akutoa account before, alitoa account after the drama ya watoto ikakuja, si ndio? Yeah. 
Aliwahi post akiwa na mimba? Hapana. Mm, na wewe aliwahi kukuambia ako na mimba? Hapana, jini ambia ako na mimba. In fact, kuna demu walikuwa naongea na Eve wa, wa Europe. Shushu ya Eve wakiwa mgonjo, walikuwa na taka pesa. Eve walikuwa na kopa, huyo demu pesa. Na huyo demu waka mpesa. Dana ndi yako na eko, endelea tu Janet, ni Dana alikuwa na eko. So, Iva aku kuwa na, sizani kama alikuwa na mimba, juku na time mshusha yake alikuwa mgonjo na alikuwa na takado, haka omba demu ingine hako uko Europe. Haka mkope shanga, alafu huyo demu sisa alikuwa na mutafuta mudai, lakini haka sema, wacha achane tu na yeye. So, so kama ume, 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 ume. Ehe, umesema hudani kama alikuwa na mimba, sindio? Eh. Hey. So kwa nini we unasema hudani alikuwa na mimba? Tell me the reason why. Mimi sidhani kama alikuwa na mimba. Kwa nini una relate hiyo kutokwa kwake na mimba? Wadanituzi huko wakiniambia to move on. Na hapana we ignore hao watu. Wewe ndio umekuwa in touch na hapa uko protected. Umekuwa in touch. Umekuwa in touch na huyu msichana na umesema udhani yako unadhani yako kuwa na mimba. So wewe udhani yako kuwa na mimba kwa nini na imehusiana aje na hiyo maneno ya pesa na deni? Sema sema tu. Okay, in short, in short uh, in short <laughs> sitaki kutembea kwa blogger. <laughs> Janet ongea, because uh, you keeping it is not helpful. I think to be honest, okay, yeah. to be honest and to be sincere, huyo mtono mm. ziwa pita. Mi msifunye kuniuwa. Thank you. <laughs> so, Janet. Yo maana nilikuwa nimekuita hapa, so that usidanganye. Huyo yeah. yeah. mtono ziwa pita, huyo mtono ziwa pita. Mm. Yes, kuna mtono, <laughs> ame kuniuwa. Na, si mtono na, wapita. very good. Na, the reason why ulienda kuchat na Evelyn ni kwa sababu wewe na Evelyn munajua mtoto si wapita. Am I right or wrong? Yeah, it's true. Si wapita. Uh -huh. Good. Sasa sita si toa screen. Sita toa, sita toa screenshot. Nikuwa nangoja useme hivo because that was the reason why you reached out. Na yuewe na Evelyn munaongea mpaka sai. Ukweli ama uongo. <laughs> Tunaongea lakini sasa unajua mimi simchati sana ndio unaona kama pita anaweza kuwa amehaki hiyo simu. Sawa. I have no further questions your honor. Let me mute. Wenye wako na maswali kwa Janet Maingi muendele. Kuna maswali na sema Janet. Janet the truth shall set you free. Just know that the truth shall set you free. Thank you for coming out. Yeah. I just felt that sigh of relief because this is a very sensitive topic and more often when we are calling such behaviors out because we see the things I don't know if people are not don't want to see Sijui kama watu wana ignore, am, kuona, ama ni akili ndi akuna like there are a lot of red flags and when we come out to talk about it you call us evil guys you call us evil. Yani uyu dem kuongea amefanya mpaka nika feel free. Yani umeniondolea ile mzigo ju. People have been asking. Ata nimejaribu kuliza Ralph Muli nini. Suwali. People have been asking. Kuna mama mwenye akonomo anaiza sema. Mimi ata likuwa nisha sema mbeleni. Uyo mtoto ata si wa ule mama. I, I'd already said, but nika sema at least wacha nikueshua si wapita. Lakini yule mama labda amepoteza mtoto. Wewe umekujapa ukongea kitu, kasema ata mimba ujai mwona nayo. Account has been deactivated. Iyo ni red flag. Na iyo story account kukua deactivated ya iyo if mamake mtoi. It happened like two days ago when I asked about her TikTok account. Kumbe ni wajanja washa enda ahead of the game waka deactivate account. Thank you for setting the record straight. Peter Kioi, shame on you. Mpaka umefika tuko. Mpaka umefika tuko. To continue fooling Kenyans. 
just because you are looking for 8 million Kenyan shillings, you should be ashamed, Ibana. This is and not it. Uh, and, 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 and let me tell you, by the way, this is very really wrong. Paul, Diana, watch an mute. Okay, let me tell you something. Today, he's actually done something so good that I wanted him to say. Amekuja akasema timtoto jina yake ni le what? Lempayan or something. Am I right, guys? Si amesema ibo? Do you? Yeah, she's, do you, she, he did. He did. Si amesema ibo? Amesema guys. kwa pesh. Okay. It, okay, what are the odds of us finding records kwa bats za Kenya ku find records za mtoto mwenye anaitwa anaitwa ni Leshayo Lemao le Lemayan Leshayo let us get those records of Lemayan Leshayo i can get those for a child named Lemayan Leshayo mwenye amezaliwa na ko 10 months because there is no way you can have 10 children Chile, when you are like Diana do you know at this moment Peter Kyoya may collect over half a million Kenyan shillings Private, mbaka nasikia kwa WhatsApp iliaribika huko. Kuliaribika watu wakatoka huko. Private, ana yeah. collect, lakini ajafika target. Ndiyo kwa mana unona anapita kwa zile platform za mm -hmm. kukolout wa hizi. Ndiya wa silence. Na ama wa yes. silence very fast. Anasema lakini Kenyans, I'm happy for you. I'm, I'm really proud of you. Let me tell Yati you. Yati kwa gidaiga, aka mm -hmm. raised, he wanted 50,000, but mm. he raised 10,000. Makofi? Makofi, please. <laughs> yani mumus walitoa 10,000. A group of mumus walitoa 10,000. Makofi, inge kwa chitambo, ange toka na 200,000 kwa gidaiga. Thank you very much for listening to us. Ten and I'm, I'm telling you guys confidently that the day when Alienda Pale kwa ile mochari, that was a publicity stunt and Chira, Chicha was fully involved. Na hata without mincing my words this woman when ye peter mekua kipoz na ye pia ako fully involved kwa imboka and that is why she's taken a back seat there is no mother that would be happy when she's mourning the loss of a child for her child to be talked about the way this topic is on tiktok hakuna especially a person that has been a gifter that has been posting publicly about her children there's no way i was a cani so I think it's important that as TikTokers, we speak the truth about this issue. Na wambi apa. Na ni mewambi akuna mtoto mwenye naituwa nani, iyo leishao lemean mwenye alizaliwa Kenya, na amezaliwa iyo miezi. Hakuna. Hakuna. I'm telling you guys here. Hakuna. And that is why he is going to platforms zenye amekua kilipa coins kidogo kidogo na iyo cartel. That cartel network of his. Unona, all these platforms enya naenda kitusi watu, wabaenda kwa abundance haka mtusi, ana mtusi kwa sababu wamekua kiwalipa. Unasikia? Amekua kiwalipa, that is why ana mtusi. You know, the moment your stomach is bigger, is bigger than your brain, you will be disrespected. Don the con man, one of the biggest con men on this platform, has been moving from place to place, trying to support and talk about Peter and the death of his child. And he knows very well, he has not seen a body, he has not seen nothing, akotu hapo, wanatembea. Sasa, kumbukeni, huyu msiana akona matanga, lakini hata huyo iv mwenyewe, hajawai kuja kutuambia, wanakutana mali kama hapa. Hakuna. Matanga ya mtoto wa miezi kumi, there is no meeting that has ever been held, there is no meeting place, yenye utapata watu wako hapo. You guys? Diana. Guys, hata uh, chicha hakuona mtoto, hapu, hata hakuruusiwa kuingia, ni venye tula chicha, hata nyamaza, hata kikuongei. Na si nilisema, nilisema chicha. Timi najua chicha. Timi nilisema chicha aliogopa kuingia kuona mtoto mdogo, lakini kwa chira alienda mbaka akapiga picha. Si chicha alipiga picha siti mochari. Sasa mtoto wa 10 month, aliogopa. Hmm? Like seriously? Wame nyamazia. There's also something see. about you, MC Chris. MC Chris pia na mtetea sana, by the way. Hini makon men wote hata MC Chris ni con man. Nimesema hapa plain and simple. Why is he always involved in things about theft na michango na pitakioi? MC Chris, shame on you. Nimekuambia shame on you and you should be ashamed of yourself. Nime, na call out platforms enye zime saidia yu wizi kuendele hapa. I'm calling out MC Chris, chicha, 
Don Decon, Jacqueline Ombewa, Edna Utieno, and the, and the group, all the platforms, including Gidaiga, those people who have been involved in this, all of you, shame on you. Shame on you. Should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm not Aibu. Me, I told you, and I will repeat, there are people here who are going to kill fellow TikTokers or their own relatives, like who are literally. Ju, what you are saying, kuna matanga, peta zita toka, kuna watu wanaenda kuwana hapa. Even TikTokers, when you are natembea karibu na watu kama kina chicha, don, pita, muti ya chata drink yenu kwa meza. I swear, hapo yon diyo level, hapo diyo level TikTokers wa mefikishana. And it's very sad aki ya mungu. Kuleta, kutema tu mtoto mdoga amekufa. Si mungu bati ya wapati ya kifo kwa familia yenu ndiyo mchangiwe. Tutachanga. Tutachanga kama muna, muna enjoy pesa ya, ya nini ya watu wamekufa. This is very, this is very wrong. Yani I'm disgusted. Yani the truth coming out is disgusting. You can't do this to uh, TikTokers. Doing to them emotional damage, kuna watu wengu wa mesikia, mtu anatia, oh, I lost my baby, it's so painful. They relate to the pain, ha, ya kulusi mtoi, na anatoa pesa bila kusikiria. Imagine. This is very wrong. Shame on you. Anyone who is involved in this cartel, pesa mekusanya. May God give you whatever you're looking for. Pesa ya machanga. Iyo ndiyo munatakucha. Let death knock your doors so that mutakujapa confidently atuta wa chunguza tu wa changi. That is what you're looking for. Shame on you. Na next Nani time Janet, you thank you. When, thank you for when taking they, us free. When they, come, when they come with the truth next time, nobody will care. Hakuna mtu atachugulika? Because they are, they, are, they are now liars. Watu waka ingilia maneno ati because Diana Rosa meongea. Mukaanza kupinga, muna piga ati juda na rosa meongea, ati muna mchangia na finyo. Maji, ala kupitia na danganya ati ya jaitisha. Kuna mani ni meona clip, ati kama jaitisha mchango, wacha achangiwe. Ati ni marafiki zake ndi wana mchangia. No, pita siku ingina lingia kate manataka sijui ni 50,000. Tena, lakini kwa gida hika outcome ndio ili ni bamba. Imagine kuenda pale na story mtota amekufa, lafu unataka 50, unatoka na 10. Kenyans wamefungwa macho. Mia he said, kelele nitapiga when I feel like this thing is off, it's wrong. Kelele nitapiga, I'll spread awareness. Mpa, mwenye atasikia na jua kuna moja wawili. Travel, uh, travel girl, unasikia aja after sending you a 10,000 shilling. Pita kyo should refund you your 10,000. Wauna ishi Europe, unajua pesa yokotwi, ulisha kuna 10,000. Hmm? Budishia watu pesa yao bana, unakoni watu aje. Wesi kilema, tunajua uli ya kamachi ka kudisappoint. Alafu naina kupanga, si unge kamachi ngine. Unge kamachi ngine, kuliko kuibia wa Kenya ati, unawafanya watu wana feel sad. Unalia watu wanalia alongside you. Na kulia umeishigi ukilia. Si ati kulia kwa fitakiwi ni kitu mpia. Ati guys, amelia, hakuna vile mtoto si wake. Like seriously, hamjai yona fitakiwi ya kilia, aki wamelewa. Hamza hiyo na akilia, akiwa na chesiwa na demons za yule mtu wakansa alibia pesa, pesa zake, yule amekataa kurefi in peace. Lazima pita kiyo alale di anagopa kitanda. Hakunyo ndia ingie kwa kitanda. Hmm? Shame on you. Ai? Na mna shindapa mna itawatu evil. Hmm? Is it okay? Is it okay that a young baby is being used to collect pesa? And it's a baby who doesn't exist. Hmm? I tell your mama, you should be ashamed. Nani we ni mama ukona watoto wako watatu? Hmm? Mama ukona watoto watatu. Unaleta mtoto mwenye exist. Do you wish to bury one of your kids, ama? How do you sit down and think of burying a kid that, that doesn't exist? Collecting nini? Hmm? Are you disappointed that God has kept your kids alive? Are you disappointed that you, you've not been able Thank you so to matanga? What is wrong with you? 
ahoi mama na kana strategize venye wataibia watu na, na mtoto mwenye ayuko na sasa uko na watoto wako wanapumua hapo unatamani kifo ama ni nini inakufanya unatamani hivyo matanga huyu amelaniwa baby endeleeni kuongea ni hapa amelaniwa jana kuchukua ni nichukua mic you guys to protect much. Janet junajua sasa hiyo story amejua Janet ame, amemwaga mtama kawaida yake Janet atukanwa atacharazwa so Janet tusijali matusi ni ya kawaida but you've spoken your truth na watu wafunguke macho. Ayo na unajua mimi nilitaka kuongea lakini nikanyamaza. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Janet. Ala pitakai anapata ushauri hapa nani anapandisha huyu mwizi hapa? Ele aende afungue platform yake. Yeah, I think ni Eve. Ni nani? Ni mama na ni Aende afungue lavi yake mwizi. Mwizi na mwenye anatembea na masanduku ya maiti. Enda huko utembee na sanduku ya maiti huko ukafungue lavi yako. Taka taka. Shameless man. Nani anampandisha hapa? Jambazi wa maiti. Hala? Kama hivi anataka kuongea afungue akaunti yake akuja tuongeleshe kama wanawake wenzake. Si hatuwezi kuongea na jambazi wa maiti. Desperate jambazi wa maiti. Unabeba mpaka maiti ya watoto. Hala? Jambazi. Na mimi nilikuambia mimi usinijaribu. Nilimbia na mimi nitaleta mpaka records hapa na ni ku prove wrong that there is no child mwenye amekufa hapa. No child of yours is dead. Thief. Unaiba na ma platforms. Hizo platforms zote zilikuwa aware that Peter Kioi anadanganya lakini waliamua kuchanga kwa sababu wao pia walikuwa wanapata cut. Ukiona platform kwa TikTok imekubali mchango ambaye ijakuwa verified ni kwa sababu ni wezi na wanapata the host of the Thank platforms you, wanakula. That is how it works. Even ndo vile inafanya nani wote angalieni angalieni watu wote wenye wamechangisha hiyo pesa wote wenye wamechanga hapo i'm telling you at you people think it's going too far how can somebody come on this platform and lie about a child's death mwenye hata hakuna alafu he's moving platform to platform kama chiruku kufungua mdomo na kupayuka kila mali and then there are some people backing him kama unataka kupanda hapa kwa hii platform hapa si kwa abundance penye unamlipa 100 na unamtusi don't think this is platform ya abundance my friend beba hiyo masanduku ya maiti uende ukapungue live yako mpenda wafu wewe shame on you jambazi don't even try it utakaa hapa na ucomment na waje niwaambie hiyo takataka ikikuja hapa na ucomment viti ya ujinga block his stupid ass thief petty thief platform zote zenye zilikuwa hapa zikichangisha the got a percentage that is what i'm saying and i'm saying it the truth all of them ndio maana unaona mtu kama Jacqueline alikuwa anatumika Joanna Aibu Jacqueline ametumia majina ya watoto kujinufaisha hapa kudanganya watoto wako autistic and there is no kid that is autistic akatumia huyu pia amekuja hapa follow the traits of these platforms wote Hakuna platform yenye ilichangisha wote wenye hawajawahi fanya michango hapa ya uwizi. Look at them. Tafuta hizo platform nzuri. Angalia Gidaiga sijui alikuja hapa na story ya Jaba eti amebiwa. Sijui ati aliwekewa sijui michele akiana ngona ngona akaibiwa. Eh hiyo story ilifika wapi? Eh? 
Kule kwa abundance, uboro mumpe 200. Utakuwa the best person in the planet. Boro mpe 200, 150, 10, 20, 30. Anaimba wimbo yako. I'll stand with him. Losing a child is difficult. But when Maggie Thatcher lost her father, when her father was sick, and she just needed people to support her through it all, this same Peter Kichieta went and stood on a platform with M and said Thank you, only that they need documents. That Magitacha ni muongo. Kama ni ngumu walete mbaka DNA. Kama ni ngumu huyo babake ya kipenda kufe. Kwa hivyo sasa, mulikuwa munachanga mukitaka kuonesha Diana Rosa ti lesson. Wacheni ni wachekele, wajinga nyini. Na nimesema, platform ya kina Edna, wajinga. Platform ya kina Abundance, wajinga. Platform ya Jacqueline, wapumbavu. Delulus, wajinga nyini. Wa, uma, wote, nyini wote. Chicha sasa ni mpumbavu. Chris Kirubi, mpumbavu. Wote, everybody that was a part of this cartel. You are thieves. I've called you out. Na nini wajinga. I'm telling you, we are telling you the truth. Whether I block, I'm open, I'm under, M has enabled Peter Kiyoi and his theft, period. But she's on the block list. She's on the block list. It doesn't matter. It doesn't when she's talking nonsense, at the comment section, look at you, I'm stop talking nonsense. Yeah. Won't she be well, worried? People, That's a the people that I'm need a... to be worried, the people that should not care, ni wale walitua elfu msini, elfu deladini, elfu shirini, elfu voti. Uwezi tuwa ngirimbili hapa, unakuja kutuambia, you don't care. No, Magi, Magi, well, any time ukiongea lazima unaguza e eh, mapana, that is wrong. Wacha tuongelele vitu zingine. Honest, let us be honest. We have to call out. It's not about to call out. There are some people here, some characters, enabling who call up, and they're the same people where they are very quick to call others thieves. This same same man, I shout up, I don't care. Is she not the same person who was saying my father is not my father, that is my uncle? At Yasi Guzwe. You are among the people that saw my father's body. Yeah, yeah, me on a body. Musika kila mudo lakini musigo sa chicha musigo sa chicha chicha ya ya likuja tu ahenda angali iko aje lakini sahi watu wote ni sawa angali tati la kwa chicha kwanza ni kwanza sioni makosa ya na ni sioni makosa ya chicha first of all eh unajua kuna wale watu like for example mimi nilizakuwa nimetusiana na chicha tuko na difference between gani na gani but ikifika saa ya watu ku, ku like kumepata na shida sure you can stand for me unaweza chana na hizo mambo zingine na ukakuja ukasimama na mimi unaona so hii ingine mimi sielewi ni kwani kama pita alikuwa anadanganya watu ama nini ama nini ah hiyo mimi sijasikia mimi nimeingia tu but mafuna acha nikuambie chicha alisimama kama rafiki so you the rest in your day, you miss your skia. Teacher, me, I'll never blame you. Because most of the time, what wanna go to singi, 
Kwa hiyo ukimaliza kukutusi shida ikitokezea wewe unakuwa mstari wa kwanza. Na unajua umali safi utangu apate miscarriage. Ah. Tena wewe vitu zingine huyu huyu mabibi zima la shida na figa huyu. Mimi mwenyewe nakalia mgongo. Wewe you just busy. Si ukweli bali safi alipata miscarriage. So Sijali doma. Unajua unajua saa hii tikitoka hapo kwa singo ya teacher. Mafla endo kujana na Diana Rose. Mafla enda uuliza Diana Rose ile. Ah ah. Mimi sijasema accountability. Ongoa jamaa kwa niko na niko kwa singo ya teacher which is not right. Jamani. Gigi. Wanaweza kuja hapo pia kwa singo ya teacher wa mafla. Unajua unakuwa kakupanya mbaya sana panya buku. Una mwenye kuuliza wewe umekuja hapa kushautia chacha wewe mafla. Dalvin huyo ameka nini? Ameka jicho moja. Sema gigi anaingilia ngaa kila kitu. Wewe mwenyewe hauna level, hauna adabu. Tutaingilia kila kitu kwa sababu tunaangalia saidi ya watu wengine blali for gada. Blali idiot. Kanyaka wewe. Lakini na So thank you so much for watching the video to the end. Remember to like, share, comment. And if you have not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe and put on the notification bell so that you don't forget to post a new video. So guys, thank you. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye.